Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is London and today I am going to be recreating some of Taylor Swift's looks out of the new You Need to Calm Down music video. So I'm going to be doing a couple of different looks in this video because there were a lot of really good ones. It was super colorful and I am just ready to dive in. So the first look, I'll be popping up pictures to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. And if you haven't seen the video, then I'll have it linked in my description box down below. But the first look, she's wearing some kind of 80s blue eyeshadow with a red lip and really flawless looking skin and not a lot going on on their cheeks. So we're going to be getting into that one first. So I already have my face primed and I'm going to take a kind of medium to full coverage foundation just to kind of be like Taylor Swift just for a little bit but this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I'm in the shade Mont Blanc and we're just gonna go at it because her foundation matched her so well like you couldn't tell whatsoever where her foundation started and began so I want to get something that matches me pretty freaking well but it's also pretty full coverage. Now we got our base on. I'm just gonna take the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Cream Brulee because she wasn't super highlighted under the eyes. It looked just really flawless. She didn't have any like dark circles or anything. And I'm also gonna use this to cover up any kind of imperfections because Taylor Swift doesn't have any. Goodbye, dark circles. I personally like using this one with a brush but like look at that before and after. Ooh. In my last video, I discovered this Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder and I'm a bit obsessed with this. And since Taylor Swift is pretty flawless, I want a powder that's gonna make me pretty flawless. So I'm gonna take this one. Just gonna dust some of that extra powder away. But like look at how flawless that made my skin. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. We are using blue eyeshadow so this one's gonna be perfect because it's a bit lighter than my skin tone so it's gonna help those blues to pop. Alright now for my eyeshadow I'm just gonna zoom you guys in per usual. We are gonna be using the blue blood palette since this is the perfect palette for this look but I'm gonna start off by taking mint tea and I'm just gonna start off by putting this as high up as I can without looking too crazy because we want the darker blues to be on the eyelid but she had everything pretty smoked out. I'm gonna take the shade I'm cold and just go a little bit lower than minty. Now I'm just taking the shade blue blood on a flat brush. I'm just gonna pack this all over my lid. I don't want to blend it up too high and then going back in with I'm cold and just Blend in the edges a little bit and I don't recall her having anything underneath her lash line But I do want to put just a little something underneath there So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Liberty skin and just run that right along my lash line And then I don't think she had any kind of a crazy highlight So I'm just gonna take headliner the white shade out of the Alyssa Edwards palette pop that in my inner corner and then putting it Easy bit right on top of my brow bone. I replayed this a few times, but it does look like she has a little bit of eyeliner on her waterline. So I'm just gonna take the Elf X J Kissa collection, the blue one. There we go. Just like a subtle little bit. And then she did have a little bit of a baby winged eyeliner going on. So I'm gonna take the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the micro tip. Now let's see if I can do the same thing on the other side. <sighs> they're not twins, but they're sisters. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do some mascara and then I'm gonna put on some lashes. These are by Crave Lashes. I'll have the style link down below. 
but she does like that kind of flared out look so I'm gonna be putting on some lashes and then we'll get on to the face. Alright so I went ahead and just did my brows as well off camera. Alright so I went ahead and did my brows off camera as well but now we're gonna get into her face. Now she didn't have a lot going on there wasn't a lot of blush but she did have her face really lightly sculpted with a really natural highlighter. So I'm gonna be taking the Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette and I'm gonna be taking the bronze shades and it's a little bit cooler tone but it's not gonna completely change up anything and she doesn't have anything past her cheekbone she keeps everything just in this little area so just keeping it right back there and just slowly building it up and blending it upwards so that way you can tell looking straight on but you're not gonna see it and taking a little bit of that same shade and just hitting the highest points of my forehead very lightly and then taking just the teeniest bit and just touching up on the sides of my nose and then now taking my hourglass palette i'm just going to be taking the finishing powder in diffused light running that along the highest points of my face see how it adds like a little bit of shine but you can't really tell that it's on there and then taking a little bit of the other face powder and just diffusing around where that kind of contour and highlight meet and now for the finishing touch the red lip i'm going to be using the ysl tatouage couture matte stain in the shade number one and this is the completed look i am pretty freaking happy with this i absolutely loved her makeup i think this looks so cool having the blue and the red not having that a lot going on with her face even the brows are really naturally defined and i think this turned out pretty freaking well let me know what you guys think but now we're on to the second look that i loved out of this music video all right so for this look i'm gonna try and show you guys some pictures of what i'm trying to go for but it's really hard to see what exactly she's doing on her eyes i do know that it's going to be a little bit more of like just a wing with some eyeliner but the color and the finish of her winged eyeliner look really interesting because in some pictures it looks kind of purpley and some pictures it looks kind of blue and it, it looks kind of metallic-y but we're going to attempt it and i just went ahead and did the rest of my face because that pretty much stayed the same so let me zoom you guys in for the eyeliner part. So for this part, I'm gonna be using the Alyssa Edwards palette, and I'm first going to be taking HOE and putting this into my crease. Because it doesn't look like she has much on her eyes, but she just has like a little bit of definition. Why did I wanna start with this eye? And I'm also gonna put a little bit of that shade just under my lash line. Now for the hardest part. So I'm gonna go and put a barely sized wing on my eyes with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick and you're still on the property because this is like a darker blue. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna take an angled brush and kind of giving myself a bit of an outline. While this is still kind of wet, I'm gonna get into the blue blood palette and I'm gonna take the shade Ocean Ice and go right over top of this. So this is probably as close as I am gonna get to what she has. Again, I am so terrible at eyeliner, but I'm gonna put some lashes on and we get into the lipstick and for highlight. All right, so I got my lashes on and for highlighter, I noticed that she had a little bit more of a highlight, nothing too crazy. So I pulled out two Fenty Beauty highlighters. So I have Mean Money, Hustle Baby, and Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So I'm gonna take Lightning Dust and Mean Money and I'm gonna be mixing these two together since they're a little bit softer, but it's got a little bit more of a punch to it. All right, and then for lips, she has pink magenta looking lips. So I took the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick in Dragon Miami. And this is the end of look number two with the eyeliner. 
I tried to get this as spot on as possible, but you know, I don't know what eyeliner she's wearing or what color that is, but I tried. <laughs> so for the last look, look number three, it's not actually gonna be Taylor Swift, but it's one of my favorite looks out of this whole music video. So let's get on to it. All right, so I went ahead and I did pretty much my whole foundation concealer routine and powder. And the last look is with Todd Rick and Todd Rick's look was freaking awesome. And I'm going to try my best to recreate it. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put some pictures up of what it looks like, but I don't have the biggest faith in myself. So we're gonna try this out. It's very multicolored, very awesome. I'm very scared. But we're gonna start off with the eyes, which are the star. So first off, I think what I'm going to do is take the Huda Beauty Neons palette and taking the green shade out of the palette here, I'm just gonna try and sketch this out as best as I can. So it goes out pretty freaking far, farther than I think I've ever taken anything. Oh my gosh, that's gonna look insane on me. And then it is like pretty high up. I'm just kind of playing connect the dots here on where everything is supposed to go. I know my eye shape is really different and I think I'm pretty happy with that. And then for the inner corner, it kind of goes out a little bit more so i think i got that where i want it now we're gonna be pretty bold and since i don't have a cream eyeshadow that's pretty similar i'm gonna take the fenty beauty senna lip paint and unattach and i'm gonna put this on my eyelid filling in that space it doesn't have to be perfect in my mind because i am gonna be trying to go over this with some eyeshadow and now before that dries completely i'm going to take the huda beauty neon pink obsessions and the neon pink shade layering it right over top whoa that is huge on my eyelid i'm just gonna quickly do the other side so now that we got this all filled in i'm gonna take the fenty beauty eyeliner in banana blaze and try my best to outline this oh my god i'm so nervous holy crap oh this is so hard to do oh my gosh i cannot even breathe one down that was probably the most stressful thing I've done all day. So now that we got kind of the hardest part out of the way, I'm gonna take the Alyssa Edwards palette and the shade Brick Road, the yellow one, and I'm gonna put this into my inner corner. And then what I could see from the lower lash line, it was a little bit of like a darker turquoisey color. So I'm gonna take my Ace Beauty palette, the Oceanic palette, and the shade Pacific right here. I'm just gonna run this along my lower lash line. All right, and now that I got that on my lower lash line, I'm gonna improvise just a little bit because I can't really tell completely about what's going on under the lash line. So I'm gonna take the Alyssa Edwards palette again and I'm gonna take Dream It, the blue shade, and I'm gonna put this more towards the inner part of my lash line. And then taking the shade Texas Made, pink one. I'm just gonna blend that over my outer corner. And now I'm gonna put some eyelashes on and we'll get back to the lips and the cheeks. All right, so lashes are on. These are, I don't know if they still make them, but this is the Sephora Collection Tinsel D'Amour lashes. And they have this like rainbow hollow end on them and they look really cool. So I picked these, but for blush, the blush was a little bit more like a purpley pink color. And the only colors that I can find that would match this is out of this palette and it's the purple and pink one I'm going to be mixing together. And I'm also going to be putting a little bit of this up at my temples and then a little bit just on the tip of my nose. There wasn't any highlight going on so we're just going to jump right into lips. So for lips I have the Stunna Lip 
paint by Fenty Beauty in the shade Unlocked, which is a little bit deeper than what I have on my eyes. All right, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys had so much fun with me recreating these looks. It was a really fun music video and I wanted to have some fun recreating some of my favorite looks. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that bell notification for Friday because it's a Jeffree Star video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.